So in this problem, we need to prove the perpendicular axis theorem that Ix plus Iy is equal to Iz for plane objects where the plane of the object lies in xy plane. So with axis x and y lying in the plane of the plate and using this relationship, find the moment of inertia of a uniform round disk of radius r and mass m. Related to the axis coinciding with one of the diameters. So first let's prove, prove the perpendicular axis theorem. So let's this be our object. So this is a planar object which is lying in the plane of x, y. So this uh, theorem is only applicable to planar objects. Now let's take a small element dm on this uh, object and calculate the three values ix, iy and iz. So let's say the coordinates of this particle is x, y. So about x axis, the moment of inertia di will be dm into y square because this distance is y. And about y axis, the moment of inertia will be dm into x square. And about z axis, this is the distance. So moment of inertia will be dm into x square plus y square. So square of this distance. So now we can see what uh, the dix plus diy is equal to diz and if we integrate to include all these masses we will get ix plus iy is equal to iz. Now let's calculate the moment of inertia of a disk about a diameter. So the plane of the disk will lie in xy plane so ix plus iy is equal to iz and by symmetry we can see that ix will be same as iy. So 2ix equal to iz and ix and iz we know we just proved in the previous problem it is mr square by 2 about this. So this gives ix equal to mr square by 4. This is what we needed. So ix is the moment of inertia of the disk about any diameter. All right.